Hello guys, welcome to Stickbolt, a <laughs> dodgeball adventure. Stickbolt is the Danish name for dodgeball. This is a Danish game, something you don't see often, as Denmark only has 5.5 million people in it. It was developed by a five-man team in Copenhagen. Originally it was made for Nordic Game Jam 2013, but got a positive reception there and they decided to create an actual game out of it and release it. So the game will be coming out on April 1st. This is the Steam version, but it'll also be coming out on PlayStation and Xbox. So you have a story mode, and that's the campaign, and you can play it in co-op. You can do a quick match, and we have the controls and options. Let's take a look at the quick match options. Team versus team, where you can play up to four players. If you take a look at it. And here you can select from the characters that you have unlocked in the game. And you can either use the controller, or the keyboard and mouse, or a combination. So this would be two versus two, either with four human players, or you could uh, add bots if you're missing some players. Free for all, everyone against everyone, the same thing, up to four players. And you can add bots if you want. Let's take a look at the campaign, and just start a new one. So you can play with a friend, or you can play with the CPU, so that's the single player component, you'll just play with a bot. Now this game is exactly like dodgeball, <laughs> it's not that fun to play it alone, it's more fun to play it with friends. So I'd really recommend that you play with friends, don't get it as a single player game. You can play it alone, but it's not really how it's supposed to be played. This would be the way to go, co-op with a friend through the campaign. But since I'm sitting here all on my lonesome, let's go with the CPU, take a look at it. We have uh, three different difficulties and we have to unlock professional to get to all star. So we'll just play casual. So the first part of the campaign is warming up. Sometimes coming in second means you're the biggest loser. Can Bjorn and Jerome live up to the expectations of coach this year? And then you have some objectives. First man down, shoot down Carsten, high five, revive a teammate, road to success, defeat the opposing team. Let's go. Middle of out Jerome, have some gum. It's strawberry storm. Widens your grill and strengthens your skill. Tonight's the final game, man. Exactly chill out. I'll make sure we bring home the gold. It takes a team to win. I am a team and the reddest stickball player in the room. Jerome doesn't seem to agree. Need I remind you about last year's finals? Maybe one silver man. We lost goals, Jerome. And it will not happen again. So now I have control of Bjorn. Coach, move around, get a ball. We already got one here. So the left stick is moving around, and I'm playing on an Xbox One controller. <laughs> so yeah, we're just running around on coach's orders. Step a little closer, Carsten. No need to be nervous. All right, I'll grab another ball, stand here. It's time for some target practice. Hold and release, right trigger to shoot. All right, we'll hit this guy over here. We get this little arrow when we shoot. We hit him right in the face. Great job guys, bring in the rest of the targets. Grab another ball, shoot at those. That's a nice little sound when the ball hits. Something, a sound you might have dreaded in school if you ever played dodgeball. The sound of a ball hitting your face. <laughs> ah, coach. Help Bjorn back up. Alright, so we run over here with Jerome. Help Bjorn up. Just stand next to him and he'll be back up. You need to work as a team, pass the ball amongst yourself. We do that on the right button. There we go. Just have to point towards your 
teammate and then look and then tap the right button always be prepared and learn to dodge so that's the left trigger to dodge here we'll dodge out of the way when he shoots at us with this that's enough dodging think you're ready for tonight let's see how you do against a couple of amateurs so here's the first opposition the noobs Alright, so now we can actually hit them <laughs> on the right trigger if you want to. And that'll uh, make them drop the ball. Ah, just hit your own in the face there. Run down and hit him. <laughs> I'll just beat him until he drops the ball. I'll pass it to uh, Bjorn. Alright, this should take him out. And his glasses flew off as well. Road to success. So we took care of the first round, the noobs are down for the count, we get the ball here, ah, we need to hit her before she uh, starts shooting, it's a good idea to dodge a hit of the enemy, and then really uh, load up <laughs> for a big shot, there we go, right in the backside. Now we have a match point, just have to take them out and we'll win. Right, let's try passing the ball a little bit here. <laughs> you can actually just walk up to them and <laughs> hit them right in the face. Ah, there we go, he's out. His glasses are on the floor. <laughs> just first hit her with the ball and then push her away. There we go. So I took care of the noobs. So that's the warm up. Who's ready? There's no I in team, Bjorn. But there's an I in win. What a honey. That's Heidi Starbrow. <laughs> yeah, Bjorn is in love. In Heidi Starbrow. She cursed us last year's cup. I know, she's perfect. Exactly. And she's never been in a better shape. Yeah, she seems very shapely. What the hell? Here comes the devil. And it <laughs> kidnaps Heidi Stabra. Freaky Tiki, perfect. This means we win tonight. Coach Trippin, man. Sweet honey. <laughs> Back bring. Must we? Shut up, we are your winners now. No way, I'm not gonna win like that. Find the finalist tonight. If you're not back, I'll accept the trophy. Come on, Jerome, let's see uh, where those tracks lead. Because uh, the devil left some oil tracks, apparently. Which is, of course, very handy when you need to track him. So this is how the campaign unfolds. You uh, play as Bjorn and you have your sidekick, Jerome. And you have to find Heidi Starbrow and rescue her from <laughs> whatever that was that just kidnapped her. And along the way, you'll fight different teams in dodgeball. So let's just take a look at the next opposing team here. Not wanting to win the trophy without a fight, the two friends try to track down the mysterious villain. So there we are, tracking the tracks. Look the tracks in here. Let's go have a taste of that sweet honey in the van. Monsters. Hippies working with the devil. Protect the honey. <laughs> Takes a guitar to the face. Hmm. 
Come on, intruders, get the honey to safety. So we have to fight the honey hippies here in the second part of the campaign. Alright, so the game's already started. <laughs> I have to dodge out of the way and try and actually hit them. So they drop the ball, like that. And there's uh, benches in the way here. And you can actually destroy them with the ball. There's also a beehive <laughs> in the middle of things to spice it up. Alright, let's push him out of the way and hit him in the face. Ah, poor shot. Ah, Jerome hit Bjorn and took him out. So we have to help him up. There we go, it's back up. Ah, okay, so you, you can actually get hit by the rebound. If you miss. So crack the bench there. Ah, you can throw the B-cube. Dodge out of the way there. So we seem to have won the first round there. So the hippies are one down. Grab the ball here. Beat him out of the way. Hit him in the face. Alright, let's get some uh, power onto that shot. Ah, here's a bus coming. Ah! <laughs> so yeah, there's all sorts of stuff going on in the environment that you have to uh, take into account as well. Or you might get hit by it. Ah, there, he's just got hit by the BQ. Uh, that's the bus. It hit your room. Ah, and it hit Bjorn. <laughs> Damn it. The bus just took out our entire team. So now it's 1 1. Let's just get this ball straight away. Feed him out of the way. And now we have the ball. We have to be really careful when that bus comes, or we might lose the game. So that's a stinger. Oh, that's the bus. So if you hit them really hard in the face, that's a stinger. All right, we'll just hit him. Grab the ball. Ah. Now, why did Jerome throw the uh, the B cube at Bjorn? Poor AI. <laughs> Alright, so we hit him, so he's dazed a little bit, we hit him again. So that's a match point. Just need to beat them one more time and that'll be it. <laughs> right in the groin. Ah, we need to go over here and help Chiroma. There we go. Ah, damn it. Bjorn got hit by the truck. So we need to help him up. He's back up. And this should. Ah, oh, missed. I was about to say that should end the game. But not if I keep missing <laughs> and get run over by the bus. Let's just get this tip him up. Ah, he hit Bjorn. Ah, Bjorn's down. This is getting a little bit too close for comfort. <laughs> He's hiding behind the bench now. Ah, that's a good hit. Sweet ride, let's just see what the what the next one is. The hippies are being very protective, something in the van. It's time to figure out what they're hiding. We can't let them float, man. They're not gonna float, they're gonna flat. 
So now we have to fight the honey van. And apparently we are throwing mushrooms at it. So that mixes up the gameplay a little bit. So now they're coming out and <laughs> throwing guitars and stuff. Alright, let's grab the ball now. So now we do have to fight them. We have to destroy the van. There has a health bar in the bottom there. And sometimes they'll come out of the van and try and defend it. And <laughs> try and run us over while they're in the van. Get out of the way, Jerome. Ah! There's another mushroom. There we go. So now they'll come out and defend. Complete challenge. So now we unlocked Finn, so we can play him in multiplayer. Don't take a groovy honey, not funky man. Groovy honey. We gather it from the beehives over there and mix it a bit. So Heidi isn't here. What? Did you see a red dude with horns and a tail come by? I did, just before. I thought it was the groovy honey, being gnarly. Where did he go? The beach man. Let's go. Thanks. And sorry about your ride. It's all sin, man, all sin. So the next area is the beach spikers. Missing no opportunity to work on the tan, Bjorn and Jerome strip down to the briefs and follow the trail to the beach and beyond. Let's just see what happens at the beach. We're going to play some beach dodgeball. We need a boat. This time I'll handle it so no one gets hurt. Don't do anything stupid. This little kid there. <laughs> he hit him in the stomach. So he grabs his ball. Ah, the little kid has a bike up there. Dude, that's my kid. Step away from the whale. So now we have to fight the beach bikers in a game of dodgeball. And there's crabs and surfboards in the way. Alright, let's grab the ball. Ah, these guys are a little bit better. Dodge out of the way here, try and hit them. Ah, so the, the crab pinched onto Bjorn. Ah, damn it, got hit. And there's a wave incoming that'll stagger you. Ah, <laughs> just got hit there. So now the crab's pinching the biker. The crab will slow you down. Yeah, we just, we just lost there. So the beach bikers are pretty happy about that. Alright guys, that's the game, Stickball, a dodgeball adventure. It's best played with friends, either in co-op or in versus mode. It will be coming out on April 1st on Steam, Xbox and Playstation. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.